It's confirmed now that none of the 10 Kuki MLAs will be attending the Manipur Assembly session that begins today. BJP psychod MLA Pauli and Lal Haukip spoke exclusively to North East Live and confirmed the development. Haukip stated that Chief Minister Anbiran Singh cannot invite MLAs to the Assembly and only the Governor has the right to summon the MLAs. Aukip okay, further alleged that Chief Minister Anbiran Singh had asked the Kuki MLAs to evacuate people of their community from the heart of Imphal city. The day when the trouble erupted on May 3rd and hence they cannot expect something better when the Chief Minister himself asked them to leave instead of ensuring that they are ensuring their safety. Significantly, Haukip pointed out that there can be no lasting peace until the centre gives its nod to create union territories by bifurcating Manipur. The MLA further added that Manipur Chief Minister Anbiran Singh's recent meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi holds no significance since it comes after over 15 months of turmoil in the state. In another significant statement, Haukip stated that if urgent steps are not taken to address the present situation, then the Kuki MLAs will quit from their respective post. It may be mentioned here that Chief Minister Anbiran Singh had sent an open invitation to the Kuki MLAs, urging them to attend the assembly session and assured them full safety and security. Besides, Speaker of Manipur Assembly, Thaunojam Satyabrata Singh has also informed a notice live that uh, the formal invitation has been sent to all the Kuki MLAs for the Assembly session. So, are you all attending the assembly session? How could we possibly attend an assembly session where uh, people have been, you know, cleansed, yes. killed, yes, and uh, their houses raised? Yes. So, in the day, the weakest of my people, yes, can feel safe. Yes. There's no point in me attending uh, the assembly in that oh. city okay i may be safe because now the leader of the uh, ethnic cleansing yeah is uh, extending an open invitation through the press and all that okay he will be able to provide me security but uh, will an elderly of my community will a woman of my community will a child of my community be able to feel safe in impa what the government of india doing for 15 15 months so there's no question of my attending that assembly. So none of you are attending the assembly session? All, all ten of you? Nobody will go to Imphal and be treated like our colleague. Our colleague MLA who was almost beaten to death. And today you see the condition in which he is. Yes. Nobody from our yes. community will attend um, that assembly. Uh, but the chief minister has uh, personally appeal to you to attend the session and also you have been sent a formal invitation by the speaker of the house also so how do you take this it is not the job of the state minister to invite members to the assembly members yes. are called to the assembly by the governor once yes. the yes. governor issues the summon yes and it is also not the job of the chief minister to tell his legislators of a particular community yes to evacuate their people from the capital when a riot, a communal riot broke out. Can you believe that he called some of my colleagues on that day, on 3rd May 2023, and mm -hmm. told them to evacuate their people? Yes. Is that how a chief minister should work? So you don't feel safe and secure to travel to Imphal and attend the assembly session, all the 10 cookie MLAs, right? I don't feel it is not that I, I don't feel safe. It is not safe. Okay. When the chief minister is the leader of a gang in cleansing a community from the capital, okay. who would feel safe? So how do you assess the situation right now and what can be the way out? The way out I have always maintained is to declare three union territories in Manipur. Okay. That's it. One for the Kukis, one for the Nagas, and the rest of the valley for the Maitreys. So and that, the yes. node is 
being a strategic region and relations with Burma, Bangladesh, everything at stake, it is good that the center should have direct say in the governance of this border state. So you are saying that until and unless the state is bifurcated to three union territories, there is no other solution? There is no other solution that will usher in lasting peace. Because this kind of uh, domineering politics by a majority community okay. uh, will never result in peace or in them. Okay. You know it pretty well. Yes. And the, 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 the kind of denial of constitutional rights over the last 50 years. Yes. Uh, we'll talk about this one of these days. I'll, I'll tell you in detail what kind of denials of rights have been yes. forced upon my people and the Hill communities as in yes. general. Yes. So you'll be resigning from the legislatureship? What, what other choice do we have uh, if the center fails to uh, give due attention to the problems here. And what about the affiliation with the party, Bharti Janta Party? What affiliation? When you are in a party and when your party leaders don't even want to meet you yeah. to discuss the problem, what is the point of the affiliation?